Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to 7 engineers at YouTube channel. Guys, today in this important video lecture, I am going to talk about what is AAC blocks, size of AAC blocks and its strength. It's very important for you people to know why we use AAC blocks for masonry. So this is the topic for today. Let's start guys. First of all, I will tell you the acronyms of AAC blocks. So here A stands for autoclavate, the other A stands for arated, and C stands for concrete block. So autoclavate arated concrete block, AAC. Okay guys, so this block is lightweight. This is lightweight blocks compared to red bricks but it's lighter three times of As compared to red blocks, uh, red bricks, and it is lighter three times of red bricks. Okay, so why we use it? Because this is non-bearing load material. This is non-bearing load material. But red bricks are bearing load materials. And guys. AAC blocks we are using for the internal walls or for external walls because it has lightweight and here you can see autoclavate okay clavd mean in Hindi or Urdu it's mean butti okay and aerated there is air and the whites of ACC blocks okay so it is included with air and autoclavit furnace okay furnace and clavit okay and aerated there is air and the whites of SAC blocks so therefore this is lightweight okay and concrete blocks so this is the form of concrete so therefore it's called autoclavit aerated concrete block right guys and this is non-bearing load material we we are not able to use it for load bearing materials okay it use uh, this is non uh, non bearing load material and there is also it can break SVD. so guys therefore we should not keep the height of uh, the height of this wall it should not be uh, you should not keep more height for this uh, AAC blocks okay so you should get permission from the architecture from the designer then he will tell you the height of because there are different categories in AAC blocks because there are different density of AAC blocks so therefore so uh, you should keep the height and limit okay and also there occurs cracks so in next video I will tell you how to avoid or how to decrease cracks in AAC blocks that will be in next video I will explain and also after that video I will also uh, tell you uh, AAC blocks uh, versus red bricks okay and where we can use these two so I've already discussed that AAC blocks should be used for the internal and external walls and also it can use for cavity walls okay so there if you uh, if you don't uh, need their more weight okay so uh, there you can use because this is three times uh, lighter than are compared to red bricks okay now guys come to uh, it's uh, and also I will tell you one thing other 
the length of a ac length of a ac blocks wall should not be more than 6 meter it should not be more than 6 meter so if you keep more than 6 meter so it will make cracks in this wall okay so therefore we will provide the step columns okay then it can remove and also decrease the cracks of AAC block so that will be in next video how to avoid or how to uh, reduce the uh, cracks in AAC blocks okay now guys come to its size uh, size of AAC blocks so what are the standard size so this is from IS code okay so length of AAC block standard length of AAC block is 400 or 500 or 600 millimeters so these three size are available in the market length of AAC block 400 millimeter 500 millimeter or 600 millimeters now its height so heights are available in the market if the length is 400 so the height should be are the height available 200 millimeters and 500 for 500 millimeters the length is uh, the height is 250 millimeters okay so it should be the half of its length you can see here 400 is the length and height is 200 you can see 500 is the length 250 is the height 600 is the length of AAC block so the height is 300 now come to its width so width are available 100 millimeter 150 millimeter are 250 millimeters okay so these are the standard size of AAC block so now it's depend on you which one is better or best for you to use in building right guys now come to strength of AAC blocks guys first of all I will tell you that the strength of AAC block is less compared to red brick okay that's why because uh, nowadays in market uh, market there is available second class AAC block okay which density is 551 551 to 650 kg per meter cube this is the density for second brick and for first for first class density is 451 to 550 kg Per, mm, uh, uh, per meter cube okay so this is for first class brick okay now so the, there are different density okay so if the density if there is a lightweight so uh, its uh, density is light because it's depend on the density now uh, strength of because uh, for normal brick in market uh, its strength is for brick red brick Red brick uh, strength is uh, compressive strength is 7.5 Newton per mm square. Okay, but for AAC, okay, this one second second class that is 4 Newton per mm square. So therefore, guys, AAC blocks are non-bearing load. Okay, non-bearing load material are non non load uh, non bearing load material non bearing load material so if you require uh, or if there is more load so we should not use aac blocks okay for that we should use red bricks so guys uh, this is the topic which i have discussed in the front of you what is aac blocks uh, its uh, size and also its strength available uh, in the market and also different sizes and its density i've already discussed so in next video i will tell you uh, about uh, aac and red bricks where we can use aac and where we should use red bricks and also uh, i will also discuss how to avoid or decrease cracks in aac blocks what's the reason behind this that cracks occur in aac blocks so inshallah in next video i will discuss this topic so if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye